गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर्स जून ट्वेंटी थर्ड टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन द गुड न्यूज एंड द बिग न्यूज फॉर टुडे इज दैट द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून थ्रू विच इंडिया गेट्स अरेंज आर स्प्रेडिंग ओवर द इंडिया एंटायर इंडिया कंप्लीटली सो बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस मंथ इवन डेली इज आल्सो गोइंग टू रिसीव द रेंज so this will be a big relief for all the people who are suffer who suffered a huge heat wave so during this summer and this summer was considered to be the hottest summer in the last 150 years so this news is a big relief for all of us hopefully the monsoon will be good and our crops will be good and india will be reaching a record level of production of the food grains monsoons are in times i have people are also ready everything is going well and apart from that we also have some news i'll open the document and i will show it to you yesterday i was talking to you regarding the icbm intercontinental ballistic missile so then there was an issue and so there was a forceful stoppage of the class so this is not just an issue are the missiles that are available with a country called russia regarding which i was referring to you yesterday but otherwise so many countries even india also possessing the icbms you might have heard agni fire so many number of times so this is one of the fantastic missiles for india that can travel for a distance of more than 5000 kilometers it's a great achievement for india of course though it was a successful one india cannot afford to stop over there but still we are going further and we are developing other missiles also agni 6 is under the preparation stage hopefully by next year that is also ready but let me come back to this icbm with respect to russia last year we have seen russia has been suspended from the g8 group the main reason and the only reason is that russia's unnecessary and undue interference in ukraine of course so many other countries today they pledge for upholding the sovereignty interfering are intruding into others affairs or areas is considered to be spoiling the sovereignty hence the entire world has come together even the g8 nations g8 group seven nations have decided to suspend russia from this g8 hence russia is not a member of g8 now but even then the russia is still to its own point there may be there may be a war against russia of course the international community is always there russia is a powerful country obviously the international community and the united nations will always try to stop this war but russia has procured 40 icbms this year that's a very very huge that's the reason why again this icbm is there in the news a probable question in any objective type of examination is that which country has procured 40 icbms in this year answer is russia they may ask you what is icbm intercontinental ballistic missile otherwise they may ask you because icbm is there in the news they may ask you which of the following is the is an icbm of india answer is agni 5 kindly remember this. when i discuss about the science and technology during our other classes then i will tell you so what is this agni 1 2 3 4 5 and what is this agni 6 that is going to come up that is agni 6 will be mirv those details i'll tell you later but let me show you the document which is related to icbm with respect to russia let me open the document now look at this 
and of course before that for your information let me just remind you once again our IAS batch 2016 those classes will commence on July 1st 2015 you can please look it on the screen the timings will be from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. that is in the morning early morning is always good our minds will be fresh so we can comprehend and we can understand the things in a better manner and after seven o'clock so whatever the work you want to do you can do it either you can go to college you can go to your office or if you are at home and you can start preparing for preparing more for this examination and if you want more details kindly look at the details that are available here the details are available on onlineias.com this is our site all the details are there next let me show you this icbm stands for intercontinental ballistic missile russia will receive over 40 new icbms this year they are capable of piercing any missile defense so russia is procuring so many because of the threat that it is expecting from the international community so we have this election commission i have some information regarding the election commission so let me talk to you with respect to that information what exact is this so whatever the election commission i am talking to you now that is the central election commission this is basically meant for conducting the six types of elections it's a constitutional authority and it is conducting six types of elections in india and all the elections are important president vice president lok sabha rajya sabha state legislative assemblies and state legislative councils all these elections are conducted by the election commission always it is there in the news it is because in one state or the other state the elections will keep on getting conducted otherwise by elections will also be there even at the end of this month also in five different states six by elections are being conducted and those elections are being conducted by the election commission and the new move of the election commission is that if you look at the ballot paper or if you look at the EVM, all these days we have seen only the name of the candidate and the party symbol and again is that we stamp or we press the button and sometimes there may be a confusion because there may be two three four candidates who are contesting from the same constituency with the same name then obviously it becomes very difficult for some of the people to identify and understand to whom they are voting exactly so this is under discussion for quite long period of time that's the reason why the election commission has decided that there should be a photograph of the candidate who is contesting the election that is going to come between the name of the candidate and the symbol of the political party so that's, that will become really very easy for them because they know the candidate they can just look at the photograph and again as that they can press it press the button and they can cast their votes of course election commission is doing this because the directions have been given by the supreme court and for the first time it is going to be used by the election commission by the end of this month as i told you just now it's going to be six assembly by elections six assembly seats by elections in five different states so for the first time it is going to be used <coughs> it's a welcome gesture definitely it is going to be more successful one because the people will welcome it because the people will feel more comfortable with this again let me open the document and i will show you the document the election commission has decided that the evms electronic voting machines would henceforth display the images of the contestants these are the candidates 
along with their names and party symbols. At present, it is only the names and the symbols. This will be applicable from June 27, 2015 for by-elections for six assembly constituencies in five states. And these six assembly constitu constituencies are spread across Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Meghalaya, Tamil Nadu and Tripura. Whether it is general election, by-election or midterm election, any election, that election will be conducted by the election commission. Look at the last point, please. Very important. So many times the Supreme Court has interfered. And the last point, I have a look at this. This is being introduced on the directions of the Supreme Court. Even the concept of nota, whatever we have today, none of the above options on the electronic voting mission. Even that was also introduced by election commission and the directions that are given by the Supreme Court. Even the VV patch, a voter verifiable paper audit trial. Even that was also introduced because of the directions that are given by the election commission. Sorry, the directions that are given by the Supreme Court. And election commission is implementing. Now, nota is there. Everyone, those who have voted in the recent elections of 2014, you might have seen. You might have exercised also. And the new concept of this having the photograph of a candidate is coming into the picture very soon. Next one, as I told you, VV patch. In fact, it was already introduced in the year 2013, but it incurs lots of expenditure. That's the reason why the election commission requested the Supreme Court to give some time. And from the year 2019 general elections, even the VV pact is also going to come into the picture. In fact, these are considered to be the reforms. These are the electoral reforms that should be done by the that should be done by the parliament, that should be done by the government of the day. But unfortunately, the governments in India were not acting. That is the reason why the Supreme Court is interfering and the, because of the directions of the Supreme Court, so many new things are being added and hopefully more new things will also come into the picture and the Supreme Court is there to uphold the principle of democracy in India. Let me open the document again. Look at this. And I would like to share some information with you. So I may have that information in the later in the document, but one of the important informations, Sister Nirmala, she was the successor of Mother Teresa. She was 81 years old and she passed away this morning. Considered to be one of the important persons of course, though not as famous as Mother Teresa, but she did a lot. She did a lot for missionaries of charity. She took over after Mother Teresa, one of the excellent persons, and she has been honored with Padma Vibhushan also. And we pray the God may her soul rest in peace. It's wonderful people. And India lost one of the wonderful persons today. Let me come to some other issue now. Look at this. Maybe, maybe a question, maybe a question. Look at the question. Answer is there. Read the question, please. Even in the examination also, you need not be in a hurry. Please read the question very slowly. First of all, you need to understand the question. Then you go for the options. Don't go for the options first. Read the question. Who of the following Union Cabinet Minister took part in the International Yoga Day celebrations held in New York? New York is a place, it is the headquarters of United Nations. And who took part over there? Rajnath Singh, Venkayanayadu, Sushma Swaraj, Smriti Irani. 
So these are all the union cabinet ministers in India, but the answer is Sushma Swaraj, the external affairs minister of India. So who is very much there in the discussion? Who is very much there in the news now? That particular person, Sushma Swaraj, she was there in the celebrations that was held in New York. Seems one more person is there. Come on, have a look at this. Important one for any examination. Which of the following Indian state has the world's first kidney transplant university? Read the question again. In the examinations like SSC or Group 1 or Group 2 examination or assistant executive engineers or in Indian engineering services, these type of questions are being asked. Which of the following Indian state has the world's first kidney transplant university ABCD? Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Gujarat and Maharashtra, answer is Gujarat. So Gujarat became the first stage. Of course, it's the first of its kind in the entire world. Answer is Gujarat. And this is located in Ahmedabad. Look at the next one. I need not tell you this one because you all know this. The International Yoga Day is celebrated on. It is the first International Yoga Day. That was done very 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 recently just two days back answer is june 21st another important news come on read the question which of the following is the first state in india to have a state <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry <coughs> which of the following is the first state in india to have a state butterfly Answer is Maharashtra. Can you remember this? Another possible question. It's first of its kind. And look at this. I have given some information. The government declared, I'm talking about the government of Maharashtra, please. The government of Maharashtra declared the blue marmon, Papilio Palimanistor, as the state butterfly. And of course, this is the butterfly that is available in. India and Sri Lanka and in fact it is mainly spotted in the Western Gods in India and you know the location of the Western Gods and look at the last point even the Western Gods also it is mainly spotted in the Maharashtra between Vidarbha and the Western Maharashtra so in the examination there may be a question which is the state and answer is the Maharashtra look at this another information I have so this is related to the Pity Cane Islands. So why it is there in the news, I'll tell you. In fact, this is a very, very small island. It is located in Pacific. And the population of this island is just 48. Only 48 members are there. And this particular Island is considered to be the smallest island with respect to the population. The lowest population is present here. Remember this, just 48. I am not talking about the area. Let me give the clarification. With respect to the smallest country with respect to area. And that country is the Vatican City. Largest country by area is Russia. Smallest country by area is Vatican City. Largest country by population is China. And the smallest country by population is the Pity Cane Islands. GK part is the, related to the GK. Kindly remember this. And the Pity Cane Islands, in fact, it is under the control of the British government. But some autonomy has been given to decide about some of the <coughs> laws and very recently these Pitikan islands they have decided and they have passed a law permitting for the marriage between the persons of the same sex that is the reason why this islands has again came to the news i'll show you the document just remember the name and i told you so many points now please remember all the points for the examination point of view Pity Cane Islands. So, this is considered to be the smallest country by population. And Pitcairn Islands is the 
I'm sorry. Pitcairn Islands is the smallest country by population. I have given here something in the form of footnote. I told you just now, smallest country by area is the Vatican City. This one. So the Pitcairn Island is a British overseas territory. It has a legal autonomy to decide a few things. And it has passed a law allowing same-sex marriage. So many countries in the Europe they have permitted and the latest country is the <coughs> Pitcairn Islands. And the last one let me show you. Of course regarding these things I just now told you. We just decided very fastly. And last one I am going to talk to you regarding the RBI. So RBI is an agency, Reserve Bank of India, which will look into the monetary policies of India. Regarding that, I had a separate session, kindly look at that one. But the today's news is that it was a decision that was taken last year, it has been postponed again. All the currency notes that were printed before the year 2005 will be withdrawn from the circulation. They will be no more circulated in the markets. So this is one of the mechanisms that was taken by the RBI to control the fake currency notes. Of course, so many people have gone to the banks and they have exchanged the old notes with the new notes. And even if you also have any of the old notes even today, how to identify? Look at the note please. On the back side of the notes, if the year is printed from 2005 or 2006, 2010, 2011 or something, so that is a new note. But if the year is not printed, those are the currency notes that were printed before the year 2005 and from July 1st onwards, they are no more valid in the market. That's the reason why by June 30th, so we are all expected to go to the banks and give it to the banks and in exchange, they will give the new currency notes. Kindly do it. If you have any, please check them. Please check them. And of course, another news with respect to this one is that the government of India also decided to provide some tax benefits to the people. So who make the transactions to the plastic currency. And you know what is plastic currency? Using debit cards or credit cards is nothing but a plastic currency. So many advantages are there. Number one, we need not carry the paper currency. It is always risky. Somebody may take it away. Number two, there is no possibility of the fake currency. We need not worry. Since the money is being transferred electronically, so there is no question of any fake currency. Again, government is working for this one. Of course, in countries like India, there is a necessity. There is a necessity. <coughs> to create lots of awareness. Of course, th that awareness will be created hopefully very, very soon. So these are all the points for today. And I'll meet you tomorrow with some more news. Till then, I wish you all the very, very best. Take care. Good night. Thank you so much for being with me.